right now we've got all orders from mobile order and pay assigned to the default online ordering server. The staff can reassign those orders to themselves if they have two permissions enabled. So if we look at jobs and we look at server, the permissions are 1.8 and 1.9. They'll need to be able to view other employees' orders and edit other employees' orders because the way the system thinks about it, default online ordering is technically another employee. It's a virtual employee. So if the servers have 1.8 and 1.9 enabled in their permissions, when an order comes through for mobile order and pay, they can reassign it to themselves. They click onto that. It'll say, do you want to edit this check? So that's why we need that permission enabled. If you hit yes, edit check, then the server assignment right here, default online ordering, they'll be able to change that to themselves. Done. The other way that you can ensure that the tables are assigned to the proper servers, if you don't want the servers to have that permission or need to do that manually, you can pre-assign tables in certain sections, and then any order placed through mobile order and pay at those tables will be automatically assigned to the proper server. So if you see this little server button right here, if you click onto that, you can assign tables to certain servers. So let's say Lucy is going to take this section and Ricky is going to take this section. So this is pre-assigning those tables so that anything rung up through mobile order and pay would automatically be assigned to Ricky or Lucy 